Okay, hello everyone. Everyone that's watching right now, the one person. Welcome. We've got some uh, week six majors action for you. Season 32 of MLTP, the second last week of the regular season, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, we have, as you can see, the clearest day, Avocado Toasty against the Taco Dogs. We'll be getting into game soon as the match is supposed to start about a minute, but things never run on time in Tag Pro, and that that might just be a good thing. Who knows? I think I've got these teams right. I hope I have. I will double check the hub, but I'm like 90 95% sure. <clears throat> Let's have a look. Yep. Bingo. Ah, oh, I should have checked where these teams are in the standings. That would have been smart. Toasty's fourth, Taco Dog's seventh, so it's really just about, I guess both of these teams are fighting for something pretty important, Avo Toasty's looking to maybe get in the hunt for first seed coming into playoffs, and uh, Taco Dog's desperately trying to save themselves from the bottom two of the Blockwork Orange and Holdgate, and ABO only two points behind but they've already played their games for this week so maybe a couple of points get them up and get the taco dogs up into the 40s they might be sitting pretty comfortable going into week seven with whoever they play but i guess next week doesn't matter just yet we've got this week to play first Hopefully I get a group soon. Okay, well, we have a group now, which is fantastic news. When's the game? It's starting. It, they're just getting into the group. I know we're three minutes late, but that shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone. I didn't get the group until like a minute ago, so... Both teams just filing in slowly. Excitement 
watching Tag Pro. Also, let me know if the music's too loud. I feel like it might be on the verge of being too loud. If you hear Tag Pro noises, Three, two, don't one. freak out. It's a smidgen too loud. Sometimes fixing up the audio on YouTube, especially with stuff just like live streams, there's no way to um, get it perfect. I don't know. You can't ask for a specific percent. You just have to drag and hope. And then some songs will be louder than others. is good to go. Whew. I don't think I've seen either of these teams play this season. I might have scrimmed with neither of them, actually, now that I think about it. And now that I'm thinking about it again, I'm pretty sure I did Miami versus Taco Dogs earlier this season. I can't tell you much about the game, I've forgotten so much about it earlier in the season. I think they played a terrible home map. Um, not sure who I'm exactly going for. Probably shouldn't have someone to go for in a situation like this. should be like pixels away from this ready button or the launching button and here we go finally we're getting in only six minutes past don't freak out everyone if you don't freak out i won't freak out but we're here the scoreboard looks kind of ugly because of these steam <laughs> colors but it's three real. two one Double tag for his first puff round. More importantly, DT first grab and death. Probably just gonna wait on this neutral again. Very content to do so. Oh, I've <laughs> walked over it before it's born. Bit unlucky. I'm just gonna get pushed back out of base. I gotta remember who Cat Killer is. Is that Sugar or is that Inspire? Because they're on the same team, right? Could be out, but we'll just go backwards and could have provided a bit more danger, but looks like he'll be okay. Gets under the gate, no return. He's excited to get loud again. Bloody song. Anyway, I'm just gonna push past and push through. First pop round up, and it looks like it could be a split. Both teams opting just to double up on the side of their ante. Risky snipe. Doesn't connect, but DT almost gets through. Chance for. Oh man, I really wish I remembered who. I think Cat Killer is Sugar, right? I'm gonna sound like an idiot. I really should have uh, checked this before the game tonight. Oopsie. But we're still locked at nil all. Both tag pros being used. It's a decent effect, but really able to come from it almost getting around from the re-grab get some pretty threatening um boosts if you just hand off short to the right side and then you have access to the neutral without any um any counter play that attempt was not the best what are we all just gonna sit on this pup they've let sadness pass three but held on od and it means that they can 
win this tag pro, but the RB in the hands of Neb gets a kiss. And they can probably get themselves out. Both teams just continuing to keep the flag in their hands. A bit of pressure on DT, but it'll be fine. Exile's helping out just the slightest bit. DT can't get past water wheel though. And now Neb pushing back through mid. And a pretty comfortable reset here. Only two and a half minutes gone. Water wheel with a chance, but. They seem all right um, when the flag's in base, but when it's out, it stays out for a while. They can't seem to get too many resets. Nice pull from Neb using that team tile, and it means that they can win the top power up. The stacking on bottom doesn't lead to a juice juice win for the Taco Dogs, however, and it means that Carrot Cake might have a look in, just gonna send it, but gives the RB flag to Neb. Coming in, might just kiss. Looking a bit risky now. Sadness needs to hold. Has the bomb. Oh my gosh. That was a bit scary. Exile getting that return crucially. And these teams are just... No one's really offering up too many mistakes. There's a couple here and there, but they're not big enough. Where teams are able to capitalize. Is that due to the map? Maybe. But uh, we have a couple of grabs before pups and I'll be top. But we should see some more attention than this juke juice. And it's a pup sweep for the avocado toast. He's getting diffused. And dead. I don't think. Oh, okay. I'm just going to go around the gate this time. Could boost into the. Gets one return, but good call to get Neb off of Anti pretty early. And they're able just to get this reset because DT. Clean pushing back, getting the solo. Water wheel. Nice little rub grab. Should be a chance for one. Off the bomb. And the one cap lead. For the Avo Toasties. DT and Neb again pushing back for returns run back this map they're making it look easy on this map I don't know what it is they're just good it's probably the easiest way to describe it a water wheel I'm trying to take a grab during pups but it could mean that they get swept no carrot kick it off RB take it offense for a little bit and see what he can up. gets diffused immediately after grabbing Danger of getting returned here by Exile. But it's just going to get fed into the gate. Neb sits on the button. Also, another out here for Avo Toasties. They're just, uh, oh, DT given flag tile. <coughs> oh, I feel like that was insanely risky from Avo kind of Toasties. I got to find a way to shorten their team name. Avo toasties, maybe just the toasties. But it is their home map. Um, so I guess it wouldn't be too surprising if they did take this one. They played on it more than. Oh my god, DT. Snuck past that tag pro. Crucially. We'll just go under. Water wheel misses the snipe. And. Uh, the threat of this tag pro is still quite strong, so DT is just going to have to come back and look to kiss. Chance for Neb to grab has access to the boost, but Water Will going to juke DT back of base and see himself out. Neb almost getting it. Team killed by Exile. Opt against the kiss there. I think that would have been insane, that kiss. And now they kind of lose all pressure. Yeah, the Taco Dogs. Two minutes left in this game. Another kiss. A good kiss that time for the Toasties, I think. This Carrot Cake's past three. Exile. Had a brilliant OD positioning. And now sees himself past a couple. Won't 
pup to come in as pups are spawning. It's going to be another pup split. I think we've had one pup sweep this entire game. Every other time it's been a split, which... Ooh, I don't know what the idea was there, but Carrot Cake passed a few. Sadness still ahead, getting some decent blocks there from the defense, but Neb is just going to take the juke just grab and should be able to hold for a while. I like the kiss. Exile getting pushed on the flag, trying to get out through gate. Could have seen that one coming. I think this is Inspire with flag right now. I wish I actually did remember. Pushing into base dies. Neb on the other hand. Chances, Water Wheel getting blocked onto flag, should be getting returned, and there we go, the equalizer for Carrot Cake. I thought Neb might have pushed off the button, that would have been really silly. Oh, the split. It was looking on. Second last pup round, double RB. And there we go, another pup sweep. In the hands of Sugar and Inspire. I'm pretty sure that's who they are. <laughs> I need someone to correct me, or I'll just wait until the end of this game and double check on the hub. Which might be a bit easier to do. Water wheel grab. Gonna get a gate kill on the way out. Keeps this situation as a 3v2 for the time being. DT very aggressive, taking the grab. Could be in danger of dying, but very slick on the way out of base. Means that the target dog will be safe for another 20 seconds, maybe. Pushing into base, trying to possibly threaten a nub step, but Carrot Cake, not interested. Good kiss. Neb, almost, gonna get around. Yeah, there we go. Looking good. Oh my god, how did he continue to live there? That's crazy. Last pup round, double RB again. Severe lack of tag pros this game. Really good chance here for the Avocado Toasties. He kind of just offered himself up there, that was really strange. Coming in with the RB. Oh, what is that? Oh, my God. And it's going to be another one. Probably. Nope. The RB saves Neb. Carrot Cake's RB's out. Ooh, Neb pushing it in when it wasn't there. Going to have to get a little bit desperate now. 20 seconds to go. Carrot Cake. Just dancing around mid. They can't really get this return at all. DT, yeah, they're just flooding OD. Might try and get a grab on Neb's solo defense, but not to be. Exile is back. 10 seconds to go. They're just going to take out that boost, and now all avenues are cut off. DT may be looking Three, for the boost block of his two, life. But one, the flag is open for too long. And it is Avocado Toasty, so we'll take game one. 2 1. Very tight game on the tool. Yeah, that last. The usage those RBs. They weren't yeah, too amazing, but they didn't have to when the OD kind of just walked out of their way. That's very strange. 2-1, game one. As we prepare for OTI Jardim. Dude, I want to move the... I keep moving the wrong scoreboard. What the hell? I'm checking the hub real quick. Okay, I was right. Cat killer is sugar. As we are making our way into game two, lickety split. As you can see right here, fantastic stuff. Three, this could be the perfect two, chance for the Taco one. Dogs. They didn't look that bad last game. It was really strange to see considering the, um, the placements on the standings. But maybe they do get punished a bit more on an open map like this as... I'm not quite sure what that was, but Water Wheel walks in for the first. Neb was just kind of loitering around in the left tunnel. And got severely punished for it. A 
now they can really threaten with a uh, re-grab train here. Looks like Neb's pretty committed to Anti. Never mind, he leaves. So Waterwheel has another free grab. Neb aggressively pushing. A block from Sugar means that Waterwheel's only going to get past two now. Could get around the back of this OD. Oh my god, this is a horror. Early for the Taco Dogs. DT aggressively pushing pup spawning in a moment. Exile getting a pretty big return here. Grab the pup pups and take a grab. It means that they can win both juke juices, but I doubt they get too much done with it. They've done not much to get this reset going for them. Wooga with the bomb, but DT button work. Pretty strong. Never taking a grab and dying. Sadness out on the right side though. Should be able to relieve some pressure for the time being. Almost get that kiss to work for him. There's gonna be another kiss followed up here. DT with the grab past a couple. Carrot cake waiting on this neutral boost. Oh, gets around near the back of base just in time. 20 seconds till this next pup round. Another juke juice. But there's some um, something a little bit better on the right side. We have a rolling bomb. Now getting screwed over by that boost timing. Sure, he was wishing that was spawning for him instead. Pup spawning in a moment. Sadness not going to be able to impact this pup too much. Never mind. Able to maneuver around Sugar quite well into that pup tunnel, and they get a pup sweep. Able to get a grab past a couple, opting against the team boost. Now has to retreat back, and a really good kiss here for the Toasties. Carrot Cake could push this hard past a couple, getting around the back. Yeah, classic stuff. I think it was DT or Neb pushing just a little bit too far. After that kiss, trying to look for the reset. Oh, uh, uh, what was that? Oh my god. That was almost incredible. And you know what you get for almost incredible? You get a counter cap. That's what you get. <laughs> Games just sped up a notch. Map a little bit quicker than uh, Sardonica. I'm sure most people are not too surprised by that fact. What are we all going to grab? They do have the tag prime right and they can really threaten to cap here, yeah. Hmm. A lot of players getting caught out on the left side currently. I know this time it was a bit different, Neb going for the tag pro, but. This time, ooh, right over, we get past DT, and now this time they can finally look to get a reset. If I uh, stop lagging, okay, no, not getting out. Okay, it looks like we're okay. Exile with a grabber now. No team boost to use though, so he's just really gonna have to put the brakes on. Getting soloed by Carrot Cake. Big stuff by that team boost. DT just took the neutral. I don't like the choice to try and head back that way. Wasn't going to uh, lead to any. Now they're just split on the power ups. Again, sorry for the lag. Um, yeah. Some decent defense here so far. Oop. Okay, well, now the lag's not making it look any good. Neb getting a good grab in time, however. Pushing into base. Not gonna get anything else. Oh my god, okay, the lag is not good. Opening up a chance. OD. Good enough. That grab. Oh god, these grabs are awful. Sadness has to keep it in. Almost does enough. Exile. Four. Pixels away from that being a cap for the Avo Toasties again. But this time they have a tag lead. Don't think there's going to be a return on Sugar anytime soon, though, with this Juke Juice. And the chase is not really in the vicinity. I feel like Neb and DT are... They're on the same page. I shouldn't be too worried. x 
Exile almost getting that return. They don't. Sadness just commits to regrab. I don't know if they just wanted to play it safe or there was just a lack of faith. Now they have to pull their Hinty off just to get that return. This could be good though. Another good kiss. Just to reset the entire situation. Again, apologies for the lag a couple of minutes ago. You didn't miss anything. So, not the end of the world. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god. That's like some fake play on the left side and it looked really stupid as uh, someone walked into the spike and then the mom just ruined all that hard work that the taco dogs did <laughs> sadness can't get through these tag pros are out now they've done absolutely nothing other than concede a cap dt ooh, not getting anywhere <laughs> the taco dog's kind of ass. Yeah, they're not looking great. I thought all these players were good. So, um... I don't know, it just looks like... Especially on a map like Jardim, though, the tiny mistakes can get punished so quickly. And they just seem to be making more tiny mistakes. And that can be a result of their macro play at times, how they're pushing back and everything. Not able to manufacture that return quick enough for their FC. Good little double team on the re-grab and it's 2v2. It's fine, not gonna make that one count. It's Neb just sacks into the flag. Maybe a chance for Exile getting a bump grab, but go anywhere with it. Sadness. Ay, caramba, that's... Yikes, crap. Tag Pro on right, though. I think the last time they had Tag Pros, it didn't really work for them. DT might opt to grab here. Nope. Going to contest the pup. Doesn't look good for Taco Dogs. Never mind, they've got three here. Still don't like their positioning. <laughs> DT was just like... He was watching. He didn't really have a great way to get back into the fight after the rotations that were made, but it was still very funny to see. Exile. Trying to use this RB. They will get the kill on the other offlane that means that they can shut down Exile after his defusal into a grab. Sadness. Ooh, good snap from Carrot Cake. Inspired, just using that bomb to catch up. DT trying to juke around on the team boost. Did do it, but there were no lines into base. Neb trying to push it in. Minutes ago. Sadness has a chance. Passed a couple, but they can't keep the flag in. On the eve of pups. Inspired going to get the solo. Exile has to grab, but... Sugar? RB flag looking very dangerous. Staring down the barrel of a 6-1. They can't get the return. Exile is just... Ooh, pixels away from him the entire in the entire way. But we will. Juice -ju in hand can keep the flag in base. Carrot cake. Ooh, just not able to get past exile. It's looking likely for a second there. Spawn from sadness is kind of insane. Would have been an out if not for that spawn. 15 seconds to go, DT. Another grab leading to nothing. And uh, this one is Dunzo. 5 1 win here for the Avo Toasties. Water Wheel with a pretty big game. Four caps. Oh, 55 seconds old. Hold number's not really um, amazing this game. The highest hold, minute 49. No one really controlling the pace of the game, but I guess it doesn't really matter when you're winning 5-1. I 
can't wait to watch more Jardim now. I feel like that's all I've seen for the last three weeks. Is Jardim. It's been the last two weeks of minors. It's been this week of majors. I'm, I'm, I'm fed up. I know it's a good map. Maybe it's because of how I'm seeing teams play it. But like, um, there's no exciting games. I think most of them are just kind of messy. Um, not close. Stuff like that. Anyway, maybe a chance at redemption here. Look, Tiger Three, Dogs desperately two, looking to get some one. points this week. Just to keep them in the hunt for playoffs. I know they're there at the moment, but if they get swept tonight, it's not looking good for them. A handoff chance going begging there. Water wheel almost given flag from that handoff. DT just sliding past Inspire, but Carrot Cake can get through the gate. I hope from Sadness. We would like to have seen Sadness push up trying to pick that button to stop them getting ahead. I know it's a bit of a sacrifice you have to make chance of dying. DT trying to chain the boosts with the bomb up. Gonna be an out for sadness possibly. Carrot Cake is ahead and has the lockdown. Devon Exile can keep the flag in base on their own side so don't expect to see too many more grabs right before pups now. Water wheel opting against it. Will be a grab taken by sadness with an RB on the left. DT losing this muscle fight at the moment. Gonna be in the hands of Carrot Cake, you think, in a moment. <clears throat> it is Pup Sweep with the Avo Toasties. TT, bomb grab, past a couple, but by sitting at firm on OD. Now it's Sugar trying to get through with the Juke Juice. It's just a ploy to give Carrot Cake the RB grab. And they get their first of the game. Only two caps so far tonight for the Taco Dogs. One was off a counter cap on Jardim. That was almost a terrible um, way of conceding. They got juked on their own side and it, yeah, it was just ugh. not great stuff to watch. And uh, their first cap tonight, someone able to push back. DT with his juke juice can continue to hold. He's got plenty of time and space. This bomb might create a few issues now that it's gone. Should be okay. Could duck out through the gate if he wants, but we'll just walk up and get returned instead. Carrot Cake gonna die. Picks the right time to die. Gives Water Wheel a decent opportunity to come in with sadness. Pushing deep into the team tiles. As they keep flagging. Inspire out. Sadness pushing again. DT. Oh, <coughs> all of them are pushing. Very funny to see. As Inspire should be dead in a moment. And is. But ugh, how do they give that bomb to Sugar like that? Interesting. DT going to win that pup on right. Looks like Neb's going to win the left one. Pup sweep here for the Taco Dogs. Very strange considering that they had really good position. Neb just going to clean up the base. Massive kills there. I think it was three or f it was definitely three. I'm not sure if it was four. DT. Oh, bomb from Carrot Cake. That was hot. Neb going to win the race to this neutral boost. And oh, the grab timing is dreadful. Good snap from Water Wheel. And keep it just to two caps for now. But for the first time tonight, the Taco Dogs are with a lead. Who would have thunk it? What are we grabbing? Not gonna get too far. Pup spawning soon. The pup's a little delayed, so I wouldn't expect them to be rushing over there for a fight right away. DT gonna try and continue this pressure with flag. Gonna be able to juke around Sugar, but. Can't get too much more going. Exile with Juju's 
Nope, again. Tacro in his hands. DT couldn't find the right line in time for all sugar. It just takes that boost away. <laughs> Stag Lee's doing nothing. I know it's gone. They really should have been together for longer. Neb can't get past Carrot Cake. With an opportunity hitting the corner, going straight back into DT. And he will just farm both returns. Looking a little bit better here for the Taiko to, to start, but. Uh, their pump work seems a little bit better, but now they're just not going to concede. Sadness able to hold just for the tiniest bit longer than you kind of expect from the back of base there. And the tag pro from Neb arrives on time. It is an RB re for Carrot Cake. And it will eventuate into death, but it doesn't turn into anything. It could now that the tag pros run out. The, um, the stagger on these power ups is actually going to be quite important towards the uh, end of the game could have been quite defining there not to be in the end Neb not going to be out chance for sadness uses the bomb great some extra space carrot cake oh that was clean normally like obviously on older jar you, you push right and you just like completely forfeit that boost and you have to walk back up might be the first time I've seen someone just like walk through go through the gate and then just rush the boost afterwards. Oh! Cap for sadness! Double kill there. Using the bomb. So I'll fight into the pup. There's a tag pro for Inspire. Water wheel with a grab, but... Not gonna be able to get too far with that. They force the flag pro. It's all under sadness to hit this boost. Does it pretty comfortably. Carrot cake. Getting over the top of DT! He does! Oh! I can understand why DT does that. I feel like he's got to recognize that his teammate's there, and so he just has to hold high. But, unfortunate stuff. Brings it back to a one cap game. Taco Dot. Oh my god, who was that on the right? That was Sadness? Just walking into the spike? Not the best. <laughs> Another pup round. Three minutes to go. Water wheel with a grab. DT is also out. Exile gonna win this rolling bomb. Looks like oh Neb, good, good adjustment from the Taco Dogs. DT could look to kiss. I don't think he's gonna get what he wishes. Oh my god. The RB chase. Everyone loves to use their RB in a cheeky way. It does work out for them in the end. Maybe because that tag pro was the ladle. Just maybe. But yeah, God. I haven't seen too many defenders really get the hang of using their rolling bomb to get like smart defusals. I don't know. It's a lot easier in the base because it's like a controlled area, but you see people trying to do it in open field and it is <laughs> dreadful. <laughs> Second last pup round. Good little boost from Neb. Allows Exile to win this tag pro. It's now sadness of water wheel at a 1v1. Much more on top of pups this time. Taco Dogs. Double tag pro. This time they shouldn't concede. Looks like they will be okay. They don't actually have to do anything too crazy. Exile running out. Able to create a bit of space, but water wheel should have a grab. We'll take it in the end. Exile just getting ahead. Knows better of it. This water wheel's trying to make something happen. No anti here for the Tyco Dogs. Just uh, 70 seconds to go now. Gonna give Sugar access to that neutral boost. Just gonna switch into red. He's gonna be taken down. Last minute of the game. Down by two. Avo Toasties. Carrot Cake looking to make something happen. 
The bomb invites a bit of danger. Sugar should be able to net this return here with just a slight bump. We'll just delay it ever so slightly. Neb's out with a rolling bomb. Fused and dead. Exile, just get your ass ahead. Looks like they'll be okay. Neb trying to push back. Oh, massive return. I want to say this one's done, but I've seen really stupid things happen before. Game is over. 4 2 win for the Tyco Dogs. Three, it's confirmed. Two, if they cap more than one. once, they just have to win. Carrot cake at the top of the standings, though. Two caps, two pups, 10 returns. Minute 40 hold. Bit more hold there. I don't know. Highest hold this time. Just over two minutes from DT. Also, 11 returns. Kind of just doing everything. Some players not doing anything at all. <laughs> But uh, a 4-2 win for the Taco Dogs. Crucial for their season, I think. And then uh, we make our way on to Audacity 2. Which is going to be a bit of a sleeper, I don't know. Something about this map just... It's not terrible. It's not a bad map. It's just... Not really that um, interesting. Maybe it's because Nigel made it. I don't know. Also, sorry if you can hear my chair creaking. It's, um. <laughs> yeah, you probably can. It's not the best chair in the world, it's getting worse as well. Three, two, Here we go, one. game four. They don't, not much of a break taker, um, MLTP teams. Oh god, we have no game sounds. How lovely is that? Don't you just love no game sounds? Okay, we're, we're, we're gonna refresh. I will get the zoom right, there we go, perfect. What are we able to grab? Yeah, nope, boosts into exile. Chance to be at this neutral or the team boost. <laughs> that was almost crazy that they let that out happen. DT with the grab, pass three. Water wheel dead. Gonna have to pray that a mid boost spawns, but it spawns for DT. Early lead here. Oh my god, that was almost another out. And uh, cap inside the first minute. Oh god. First pup round. Looking good here for... Okay. Will be a split. I was going to say it looks good here for the Toasties. They didn't really get to see the top of the fight. I figured they'd win that. I was paying a bit more attention to the bottom one. Ooh, the bomb from Sugar is clean. Trying to get through mid. Going to get some help from Carrot Cake there, Exile. To fetch that return. As they should be able to get this reset. Never mind, they give inspire the boost and it should be a cap and it is they do manage to keep it just a one for the time being but the handoff timing just to walk out top for free there especially with a boost available pretty criminal shouldn't be uh allowing teams to do that Is this what the miners teams are playing this week? I really need to remember. Oh my god, the quadruple stack on bot means that Exile just gets a free rolling bomb. I don't know why people put such high prior on um, tag pros. RP is going to be so useful to just deny this entire tag pro usage as well. Especially when you commit four people to it and you have to give up positioning literally everywhere else just to win the green team and they're gonna lose a cap because of it. it's definitely something that's happened obviously recently once the uh the pup indicators came out i just 
really hate the uh, like even teams that do three on a cup i feel like you have to give up so much for it it kind of makes a bit more sense if they're staggered or delayed but there's not they're at the same time <laughs> oh god I just walked into carrot cake with the juke juice inspire trying to make any way through mid but next i'm just gonna lock down on that one and uh two one taco dogs they've capped twice so it's confirmed that they're gonna win this game right d2 with the grabbing who just died there <laughs> oh my god that was like some old school fucking let's both swipe at the same person and give them the perfect split should uh, consider themselves lucky it didn't lead to an out good defense there from the character nice little fake to make you think you had the flag and out but nope Puck's running again RB a bot gonna be in the hands of carrot cake water wheel coming in good defusal here from carrot cake good into a cap stops against it trying to find a better time to get it still has it available but uh we're waiting a little bit too long for me then. That was DT to catch up. DT grabbing a carrot cake. RB flag runs out at probably the worst time. Oh, sadness pass four. DT can take both boosts. Well, doesn't need to. Only has to take one. He has a nice line to deny any sort of potential snark. And the Taco Dogs up by two. Oh, that's why I have to do some sadness. We're back in the same corner, this time getting a little bit of help from Sugar. Let's see what he does. Just gonna boost through mid, double tag pro, gonna be a grab from DT, good choice in the end. This time I kind of understand the higher prior towards the tag pro. Like they only sent two there, they only needed to send two. DT needs to hold for quite a while. Looks like he'll be okay. Can just boost back up. Go straight through. Go down. Could go... A little dangerous, but a good block from Exile means that... Should be okay for the time being. DT rushing into base. Gonna die. But... Oh! Oh my god! Gary Cake almost getting, like... The craziest trampoline out of base. Would have found yourself pretty unlucky if... Still looking to grab right before pups. Double tag throw. See, this should just be two 2v2. I don't get this. It's a 3v3 and a 1v1. Ah, oh, what the fuck? They had time to go and like contest exile on the top one. They opt against it. Waterwheel trying to go through the top side, but the defenders are stacked pretty well up there. They just need to get someone on offense to help out exile. Looks like they do have one now. Sadness. Grab. And should be well, the tag for out so sadness has nowhere to go kind of just stunned in fear should work Port, both defenses taking out things out of base as the good boost no bomb up though just gonna boost deep into base not a force and error there but dt is well aware of what's going can go back into the midfield and hit another snipe. But there's a double tag per round again. And I will just split it once more. So it's a kiss. Looking like a better kiss. Here for the Taco Dogs, but uh, DT can't just get past character. It was quite close. Very, uh. Yeah, very tight there. Defense. They do kiss, it means that Inspire has a grab and an out, and my phone is going off. Hang up on that call real quick. Sure, we can't get through. DT, plug in the hole.
getting a good little bump from Exile, but Inspire holds the line. Two minutes to go. Only two cap diff, so still looking very doable here for the Avocado Toasties. DT, given that line through, Karen Cake knew he had the snipe up for him. Going to try and lead to this Tag Pro win on the top side. Looks like they can't make it a pup sweep. But this flag from the hands of Exile probably won't lead to much now. Can't force too much. We'll just die. Carrot Cake could look for a handoff. Just going to walk past Neb. Oh, here's the line. Goes off the 45. Oh my god. <laughs> I know you got to be worried about the handoff, but it was just, it was way too risky to let the flag pass. Oh. Just getting juked at such a crucial time. Only one cap now, there's a tag from bot. Avocado Toasties have been a team to beat on that pub. Been so much more competitive on that one than the top one. with the pup spawning the double on the bottom doesn't look like uh, okay avocado toasties not gonna win it exile knows that the chain is up could use this lawnmower to do something it's looking a little risky at the moment i don't like what they're doing here but it looks like it'll work out for them. bomb is up exile just gonna remove that one immediately water wheel has to hold for his life looks like he'll be not okay gonna get shut down and that will be the dagger you'd imagine Sugar on the team boost. Looking to boost through mid. Has to hit the 45 flat though. Doesn't hit it clean. Neb is out. Carrot Cake might try and force something, but DT just very comfortably on that. Oh, snipe. Exile. And they're going to make it a sixth. Really big for their captive tonight. And in the context of the season, I didn't really get a chance to look at it too closely. But Exile huge at the end there. 6-2, Taco Dogs. And we're now 2 all for the night. I thought this Taco Dogs team was not that bad, but uh, obviously I, I don't know much. I haven't really watched um, any majors this season, so I can't really say for sure how good these teams are. But we do have a small break. Sugar is AFK. Who knows what they're doing? now leading aggregate by one cap for the night big stuff title points at six apiece wonder if this game might go into overtime see if uh avocado toasties have really learned anything from that game the one moment that like i can re remember from that game when they four stacked that tag pro, lost the RB for free on top, and then lost a cap because of it. It's just like, ah. Oh. Everyone loves to do it. They see the tag pro spawning and they're like, ah, oh, yes, I must go get the tag pro. Um. Yeah, I've. Maybe it's because I'm an offender and I just see more value in a rolling bomb and being able to hold. I don't know. Could be that. It always just seems a bit silly to me. Three, but two, it's what it is. One. Game five. Everyone's moving. 
good start. Sadness and DT with a chance to get a grab and out. Oh, DT doesn't get that bump grab. It looked like it was there. I really thought the 2 5 was in his favor. They're just going to trade the mid boosts. DT getting a better grab, not quite. Again, thought he should have been out there. Quite strange stuff. Mid boosts spawning again in a moment, but. Looks like uh, Avo Toasty is almost just given a grab there. Water wheel. Going to be the first to grab for the red team. Given access to mid. The bomb is gone. Exiles boost ahead was fucking dreadful. <laughs> Didn't get into the other base and uh, really caught out grabbing at the wrong time, especially with that bomb spawning. TT grabbed the back of base. Not going to get duped. Not going to dupe the wheel. Good backward snipe from Inspire. Carrot Cake. Pass. Tag for it coming in. And that will just be another one. No? No? Excuse me? What was that? That was terrible. <laughs> oh my god. No idea what was going on there, but uh, if you're Taco Dogs, I guess you're just kind of happy that you didn't concede again. getting a little pull grab from Neb here. Could threaten out bottom, but Exile's there, but it's just a ploy for a handoff. Oh. Yeah. I think DT meant to grab the flag then. <laughs> this game has devolved a little bit into game five. I don't know if that's just a product of playing on this map for the second game in a row, or five games in a night, or these teams just up. Oh. Oh, chances maybe? They can't get... Oh, they can get a return. Okay, well, they're going to get one back. Very important here in the context of this game. DT going to take this grab. Didn't really... Oh. Okay, sugar. Oh, the boost from DT. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. If you're sugar, you just can't give that up. Makes up for it for his uh, play earlier where he forgot to grab the flag. Um, oh, they're just giving him free outs, man. The booster head is fine. It spawns. Exile going to just shut down with a big solo. DT's got to get out of there. Are they going to give this free grab to Waterwheel, you'd imagine? No, DT spawning in time. RB at top. They just give over. Oh, no. Man, spam this pot friend to root for DT. <laughs> that doesn't even rhyme. Oh, well, there's another one for the Avo Toasties. Making those pups work. They just conceded the RB, the one that they could win. And then, yeah, oh, bombs up. Looking dangerous, but Neb pulls onto flag at the right time. Can't get a return on Waterwheel. Could have been a really good chance to punish. But not to be. They should be able to get this return now, but it's just going to be a handoff chance for Sugar. Getting a block. There is Neb. Continue this hold, but now he's in the back of base. He should be dead. Sugar not getting anywhere. Sadness passed a couple. Doesn't want to use the mid boosts. Trying to come in, but... Waterwheel wasn't pushed back at all then by that boost from Neb. Would have been really good to see... Some sort of pressure put on there. Sadness trying to force it in. They concede both pups again. Water wheel with the RB this time. Inspire can really push this one hard. Not going to win the race to the flag tile? No, he will. Okay. I can't believe I doubted that. And the double flaccid leading into the RB. Yikes. This one's ogre. And we're not even halfway through the game. It's 5-2. DT not getting out. Gonna take a big shift here. They're really losing control of these power-ups. And they just give an unfortunate handoff chance there. Water wheel. Gonna be able to walk that one in. Neb not getting out. Exile chances? No. 
too many rushed grabs from their offense. Their defense is letting the flag out a bit too easily. Kind of just a mix of everything. What are we all able to get past this tag lead? We'll find the soul. It means that Sadness has to track all the way back. We'll give DT a grab past a couple. Oh, carrot cake on the read though. I'm surprised DT doesn't go under. Exile, good bump grab. We love it. Carrot cake, possibly in trouble. But they're too worried about trying to give Exile some more time on flag than getting this return. Exile is dead now. DT has to threaten with the bomb. Just forces it, allows water wheel past a couple. Exile boosting ahead, but it's not going to be enough. 7-2, this game has collapsed. So much for if Taco Dogs cap more than once, they win. Because uh, they can cap far more times than I still think they'd lose. Oh, that was disgusting. Death from the bomb. Carrot cake past a couple. Sadness, that's a better grab. Can't get past Inspire, but knows that he can't. We'll continue to track back. Yeah, I'm not sure what the Taco Dogs will be looking to do in the last three minutes of this game. It's not really the sort of map where you can pile on those sort of caps. Get DT a team for real. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't. I watched this team earlier this season. Again, I don't remember the results of that game. But I didn't think they looked so bad. But... One more Avo cap. I keep forgetting what ATS means. Oh my god. Chances for Neb. Oh no. No. Wait, it's going to be another one maybe. Exile. Why do you go under? Why do you go under? What is that? Oh my god. What the fuck? Why did Exile go under? Trying to get me to base there. That was really strange. I'm getting hyper fixated on that one thing. I don't know. Can't really look at the bigger picture. This game's over. Full cap lead here for the toasties exile coming in tank prone in the hands of inspire don't know if that kiss was entirely necessary but i suppose eh, it's not that good in the end <laughs> i've missed a few things tonight obviously from what chat's been saying I feel like it's quite hard to watch the entire map in one go as a spectator. I don't know. A bit too much going on just for one person. Oh, how do they let Water Wheel take that? What the fuck? Okay. Sugar passed a couple, but Exile and Neb can just push quickly for that. Boost block allows Neb to get out, but there's no. It wasn't really a delay, it was just like give space for and out. Neb's not actually out anymore. And Water Wheel can come in. So we need one more. One more for the Toasties. I'd say they're looking like a good chance here, but Tag Pro Juke Juice here for the Taco Dogs. Wait. Wait. Actually chances. Oh, never mind. Not anymore. Okay. Maybe they can do something crazy. Mm, nope. Nope. Exile, maybe past four. Nope. Water wheel avoiding the snipe. Ten seconds to go. It'll take a miracle. One more cap. Water wheel, not out. DT, not out. Sugar, not out. This three, game's done. Eight two, three. One. 
five camps to a quarter wheel. As the night is done. There's a 3-2 night for the Avo Toasties, but some pretty important points for the Taco Dogs. Just to keep themselves around at the bottom of the playoffs. I finally found some form after they let it slip for the middle games, pretty much. You take that as a Toasty fan? Yeah. I think both teams would be pretty comfortable with the night. Maybe game three gone begging there for the Avo Toasties, especially as they're trying to make the push to try and get a higher seed in playoffs. I think for the taco dogs you should be relatively happy with the night maybe game one again but that, uh, it's a home map so screw home maps we hate home maps um thanks everyone for watching tune in next week for the final week of the regular season for majors i don't know who plays who um but yeah maybe i'll be streaming one of them probably not but, uh, yeah, go watch Minor League Tag Pro. It's on right now. Good night.